Hi again. Just a short update of what's going on on the firmware development side. We just added another way of displaying output values, which I believe that many of you will find useful. Before that, I'd like to present another feature which is not properly addressed in some of previous videos. And this is a how we are displaying output values on the bar graph like this one. For instance, if our output voltage is set to 5 volts like in this case, that orange area is proportional to full scale of maximum which is 40 volts in this case. But we are not using a maximum for the full range of displaying but voltage limit. And we can check that here under a voltage limit that is currently on the 40 volts. But if you put here like uh, 6 volt, and now we can see that, that 5 volts it's, it's much more visible. The same thing it's with, uh, volt with, with uh, current. Current is currently on the almost max, but we can say something like this. For current we need some load. Okay, full scale it's 200 milliamp. And so on. If we are using some external voltage programming, okay, we can see that something is going on. Uh, here it's the full scale, it's again set automatically to maximum. We can do the same thing on another one. And we'll see that something is happening that is probably not the same source. It's, it is not. But we don't have any idea what's going on on this side, what type of signal is and for that we added that new display view which is announced on the beginning and in lo it looks like this no it's like this and now we can clearly can see that here we have some ramp and here it's some sine wave signal I can change for example now uh, one of the signal to square wave and it will looks like this and something what is possible it's to change a frequency of sampling uh, rate actually it's now that view rate it's on 100 milliseconds uh, we can go down to 20 millisecond and now we can see two cursor each with its own speed and I can go back here to to ordinary programming. I'll connect some load. I have some small small and very old and dysfunctional battery and now okay it's too fast for changes on the battery. This will be more still if I disconnect I have a drop or I can connect it again good uh, something else what is possible now and what is added with this new feature it's in display view that we can define display value for that to a trace or that bar graph. Here for this instance I can put power instead of voltage 
and now we can see what is the uh, output power. And we can do all that with a different load. I will use I will use one DC motor for it. Uh -huh. It's now it's working, and we can see how. Current it's not constant. And that changes in a, in a red color means that channel enters unregulated mode of operation. Okay. We can Try it with faster refresh. Once again, mm -hmm. and so on. And we can continue now with connecting the load. Which is still not connected. Now it's connected. And we can see that in one moment we have some here and here we have some limit which is caused by this current set and if we go even lower it's now almost constant or in, if we go in other side You will see complete waveform and again here we can also display here let's say power instead of and see how it looks like with the power all this it's possible also when channels is coupled so we can go and set it in parallel let's say and now it looks like this and now we can connect again let's say our battery and see how it looks like For settings of the current, we'll say like this, and we have a better resolution now. And we can slow down okay. And for the power, we can also limit it to just 5 watt to get better resolution and this is all about new way of displaying output values thank you for your attention and goodbye